Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're gonna to talk about three essential steps you need to put into your program if you're looking to take your fitness to the next level. First off, most people understand this one. You have to exercise. If you don't exercise consistently enough or push yourself hard enough, you're not gonna see the results that you're looking for. When you go to the gym, you gotta make sure you're going at least three to five days a week on average. Some weeks you may miss a couple, but overall, you need to aim to actually show up. If you never show up, you're not gonna put the work in. I see this a lot at the gym. I'll see people show up all the time, but they're barely putting in any work. They're just kind of walking back and forth on like the elliptical bikes, or they're on the treadmill and they're just hanging onto the handlebars. Not that you won't burn calories doing that stuff, but if you're looking to get the most bang for your buck, you need to up the intensity. So actually sweat when you work out, actually be tired, be fatigued, need be fatigued, be have a reason to need to take time off between workouts. If it's so easy that you're not even feeling anything the next day ever, you're probably not pushing yourself hard enough. Essential tip number two, nutrition. So okay, you get a lot of people who do work out, who do put in the effort. They are training hours a week, maybe hours a day, but they don't eat well. They have this mindset that they earned this donut, that they earned this box of pizza, that they earned this cake or whatever it is, ice cream. Not that you can't eat treats in moderation, but they need to be moderation. If you eat clean five days a week, but you wreck your diet on the weekends, you can still overeat on those two days to ruin your diet the five other days of the week. So you need to make sure you're getting enough protein, make sure that you're eating carbs as fuel, not just as sugar because it tastes good. So again, training is great, but if you're looking for definition, you need to make sure that your diet is on point. Yes, abs are sculpted in the gym, but they're shown via the kitchen. Last but not least, so if you have the nutrition down and you're exercising a lot, you need to make sure you're resting adequately. And I mean quality rest, not where you're in bed and you're wide awake until 3 a.m. watching TV shows on Netflix. You need to make sure you actually sleep, that you have time where your body can relax and get out of a stress environment so your body can heal. When you're working out in the gym, you're actually damaging your muscles and they grow via enough nutrition, adequate nutrition, as well as adequate rest. So it's not that we overtrain, it's that we under rest. And most people don't even overtrain anyway. Your average person doesn't train enough to even need time off as much as they think they do. So for instance, if I do 10 push-ups a day, I don't need a day off between my chest workouts because 10 push-ups isn't adequate for me to even feel stressed. If I did 500 push-ups a day, that'd be a bit much. I should take a day off to allow my chest to heal and to grow stronger again through that rest and through that nutrition. So number one, make sure you train at a high enough intensity frequently enough to see results. So again, if you don't like pushing really hard, not every workout needs to be 100%. You can work out longer or you can work out faster and harder. The choice is yours, but I personally like to save time, get in there and get out. Second, make sure your nutrition is on point. Doesn't mean every single meal needs to be perfect, but maybe you go for like an 80-20 or a 90-10, where 80% of the time you eat clean, 20% of the time you give yourself a little grace, or 90-10 if you're pushing a little more strict for a short term, maybe before summer if you wanna to go to the beach a bunch and show off your physique. Third, again, last but not least, rest. You need to make sure you give yourself enough quality time off as well as sleep. So I heard that Henry Cavill, when he was training for the Superman film, he would sleep 10 to 12 hours a night for months because he understood that all that training would mean nothing without enough rest to let his muscles repair. So that's it, just three things. Exercise, nutrition, and rest. Triangle, in the middle, consistency. If you do those three things and you do them consistently, you will see results. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe below, and let me know what other videos you'd like to watch and what other fitness questions you have.